Yo, what is up YouTube? I am back again with some more zombie information for you guys. But Treyarch is slowly and steadily ramping up the teasers to their new map, Mowder Toten, and they have been pushing them out on Twitter. But if you guys haven't been keeping up with it, they are releasing a new perk in this next map. Well, not really a new perk, but it's a new perk to us in Cold War, but it is Mule Kick. Now, for those of you who don't already know, Mule Kick allows you to carry three weapons. Now, I'm, I'm almost positive this perk, the base variant, is going to allow us to do that, which what I'm most excited about is not having three weapons, but having three different ammo mods. Because each ammo mod shares its own cooldown, and at this point, getting to high rounds solely relies on ammo mods. So that means we'll be able to kill the zombies even quicker getting to high rounds, because you could put three separate ammo mods on three separate weapons and just circulate through the weapons while releasing each ammo mod and waiting for the next cooldown so you could almost use an ammo mod special ability every couple seconds and just with any other perk they always add higher tier upgrades available for the perk and i've seen a lot of speculation with what the new tiers are going to be but honestly i'm, I'm really curious to see what chart's going to come out because i don't see really much they could do with this but like always they're going to surprise us i mean maybe quicker uh swapping weapons maybe quicker aim down sights you know simple things like that but we won't even know until the, the, it actually comes out but now this is what i really want to talk about just with any new zombie map we have new wonder weapons and ladies and gentlemen we have an image of the new wonder weapon and it is the crbrs which stands for the conversion ready binary repeater standard and standard meaning that this pistol you see on the left side of this image is the standard variant of the wonder weapon and this is the first wonder weapon we have now that is made by requiem because the last two we had were both made by omega it says this weapon is a fully automatic handgun which fires lethal energy blast so i have a feeling this is going to shoot ammo type sort of similar to how the ray k or the ray gun mark ii shoots but the last thing that we can read on here says copycat companion sphere provides synchronized support fire now we can see on this screen which i'm assuming is the companion sphere which is also seen visibly in every single variant of this wonder weapon now this is where i've been speculating a lot on this this companion sphere it almost reminds me of the ammunition cartridge that we also see on the die wonder weapon in d machina how we can go around we can do easter eggs and we can put different elemental damage into the ammo cartridge is i wonder if this is going to be something similar to that where we can do an easter egg to change the ammo type but now here's the other kicker we have three specific different weapons and Obviously, putting a different ammo cartridge into the weapon is not going to change the looks of the weapon. We would have to do some sort of Easter egg to completely change the whole look of the weapon. Maybe upgrading it or doing an Easter egg. But now, here's the other thing is we have three tiers of Pack-A-Punch. So is this going to be a Pack-A-Punchable weapon to where when you put it in the first Pack-A-Punch, it comes out looking like a pistol with an air cannon thing on the end. And then the second one, it comes out looking like a shotgun or SMG variant. And then the final tier Pack-A-Punch might come out looking like what we see there, a sniper rifle or an assault rifle variant. I mean, I could only speculate at this point, but maybe you have to find items around the map and then put it on the crafting bench to upgrade it possibly. Who knows, but <laughs> chances are we'll actually know a lot more when they release the trailer and we actually might get some snippets of this wonder weapon. But nonetheless, moving on, last on our list today is this new tactical grenade that they just happened to throw our way which i am not disappointed for it is the lt 53 casimir prototype now this is an omega weapon but at the very bottom you can see the lt 53 casimir temporarily opens a portal to the dark ether using technology developed from we lost track of that part the lt 53 absorbs objects in a small radius and teleports them now, if you ask me, this sounds a lot like a previous tactical equipment that we've had in prior Call of Duties, and that's the Gersh device. Uh, we've seen it in, I think it first showcased in Ascension, but it was, it, it took the slot of your tactical slot and you could throw it on the ground. And obviously it did exactly what this description says, as it would open a dark ether portal and any zombies around it would get sucked in and just disintegrated but it also gave you the option to jump in it and it would teleport you just in a random area across the map. 
Now, I know this is going to be a tactical slot grenade because in Treyarch's tweet, they literally put the title in there, time to get tactical. I mean, if that's not obvious, I don't know what is. And then if you look at the picture, you can see the grenade. It's, I mean, a circular like a grenade. It's the size of a grenade. It's only 15 centimeters tall, but 16 centimeters wide, and it has an activation button on the side. And I could only imagine, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be utilizing this some some way in the Easter egg in Mauer der Toten. But the biggest question I have at this point is, is this going to be a craftable tactical grenade? Or is this going to be something that we can only get on Mauer der Toten that we have to, I don't know, get spin in the mystery box or do an Easter egg to get? Because if we could take this and craft this on a workbench on, on a different map, that just adds to the replayability and even changing a lot of strategies, whether it be high round or um, just uh, speed run strategies. That is all I've got for you guys. But y'all do me a favor and comment down below. Let me know what you think about the new wonder weapon and how it's going to work. How are we going to upgrade it? And what kind are we going to be able to put elemental damage or anything like that on it? Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys want to stay up to date with all the news and tips, tricks and guides, feel free to subscribe and you can follow me in the discord channel or on Twitter links are in the description below. Peace.